I'm Natalie Ruiz with Chance and Water. One of the things we love here is educating people about different myths that are out there on the internet. There's a few shady things out there and we like to shed some light on things. So yesterday I was looking around and I came across a website that said water ionizers are scams because they don't clean the water enough. And this particular person was heavily promoting water distillers and I understand where they're coming from and, and what their position is. But what I want to say is water distillers and actually reverse osmosis as well completely strip water of all of its minerals. It, it, they take out all the contaminants, but they take out all the good things as well. We want you to have the good things. Now, when you take out the good things from the water, your body will literally begin to rob itself of nutrients, and you don't want that. So to my knowledge, no ionizer company is claiming that they make pristine water and that it's all completely filtered. If they are, I, I certainly hope that's not true um, because it isn't true. All water ionizers have filters on board. Some of them have two filters. The ones that have two, it's a sediment pre-filter. We have always recommended pre-filtration. We have one here. This is a C3 pre-filter and we've recommended it for every brand of ionizer out there. The reason you want to do that is none of the filters on board an ionizer take out things like fluoride. You know, they address certain things, not everything. And we're not even pretending that this would, would address everything. There's just no way to test it in every water source all across the country because different areas have different issues, even just a few miles apart. But what this will address is things like chlorine, chloramines, fluoride, heavy metals, bacteria, and there are a host of other things, including pharmaceuticals, that it will address. Um, when you're ionizing water, you're making the water molecules smaller and you're driving it deeper into your cells. And the reason we've promoted prefiltration is we want to pre prevent you concentrating any contaminants and driving them deeper within your body. Now we do have something called a nano filter, which is a completely different thing. It's a modified reverse osmosis and what that does is it does not have a tank, so you don't have the limitations of a tank, you don't have the um, the mold problems that tank has, uh, reverse osmosis tanks have. You don't have the, um, the extreme wastewater, uh, and it doesn't take out all the minerals. That's a more expensive type of filter that you can uh, hook up with an ionizer. This is the, our most recommended. We have another one called a um, ultra filter, and that one actually back flushes itself because it is such a um, tiny micron size of what it doesn't permit to pass through. So I, I hope that clears up a little bit. We consider RO and uh, distilled to not be healthy and ionizers aren't for filtering. That's not their purpose. It's to make the water antioxidant. It's to make it acidic water uh, to use on your skin and externally and for disinfecting things. And uh, I hope that helps you make a decision that's a little more informed. God bless you. Have a great day.